So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to your 18th native script video in which we're going to take a look at what from object recursive is, right? So before taking a look at that, let me just show you a problem with this um, from object thing. So let us say you have instead username and password just like exposed on the top level into let's say another field which is user, right? All right, so now once we have that, we have to make some changes. We have to say user.username here and user.password here, right? To fix this, right? So once we do that, you would be able to see that our UI is now displaying correctly. Now, this might seem all good and fine, right? And actually, let me just update um, right here. I get to user, right? Now, this is an object for us. We could pretty much just you know just to use a name because it's associated with us and you could also do uh, get user dot password just like that right so now so at this point you're gonna see you're gonna assume that you know everything is fine and cool you see that uh, you write admin admin hit login it echoes correctly you change the data it happens correctly all that stuff is happening all nice and good but the real problem arises when you start displaying this data in real time on the screen. So let's say you do a label text of um, user.username and pretty much that would just show what I'm talking about. Hit save, you're gonna see we get, if you start changing the data here, although it's reflected in your logic, it's not reflected on your UI. Now this is reflecting on your UI because you're pretty much just setting text independent of this value but you know you get the idea what's happening here if you want to have text which is displaying in real time on ui and your logic you have lost this ability now the reason for that is basically because when you use from object it does a shallow watch on your object a shallow watch means that you're just watching a single level nested Right? If you want to watch multiple level nested, you have to do something known as from object recursive. So once you do a from object recursive like that, what you should be able to see is now your UI is also updating when you change your particular text field right here. Right now, what that means basically is that should you go ahead and use from object recursive always? Well, no. Um, Obviously, from object recursive, what it does is that it recursively adds a, an observable to every particular object, right? So it might be expensive to do if you have some data just sitting there for, you know, just some static data, which you do not really, really need to have in sync with the UI all the time. For example, in our case, the login application. You don't really want to show username and password always on the UI as well. So you don't really need a recursive approach here but in cases you need the ui to reflect correctly with the logic you need from object recursive there so i think yeah that's all for this video if you liked it again don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one